Leaning into spooky October, I'm continuing my series today on the top 25 horror adaptations of all time. So let's hit 6 through 10. Welcome to Fantasy for the Ages. I'm Jim, the father of this show that I do with my son, Zach, talking about fantasy, science fiction, horror, apparently, and other nerdy things we enjoy. We hope you enjoy this episode as I talk about five more terrifying horror adaptations of great literature. And if you do, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we invite and encourage you to do so. We've got tons of content on here. Learn about books, movies, shows, other fun things that you may not have discovered yet. Okay, let's get to this list. Starting from the bottom, I'm giving you 10 through 6 today, and wow, do I have some great movies. Number 10 is The Thing, the 1982 movie, which is an adaptation of Who Goes There, a novella by John W. Campbell Jr., published all the way back in 1938. Here we've got a research team in Antarctica encountering a shape-shifting alien that can assume the appearance of its victims, leading to paranoia and distrust as they try to survive. The team must find and destroy the creature before it overtakes them all. The groundbreaking practical effects, claustrophobic tension as they're locked into this science station, and the pervasive atmosphere of paranoia make this one of the most revered sci-fi horror films ever made. You gotta check this one out. Number nine, Jaws, the 1975 movie adaptation of the novel of the same name by Peter Benchley, which came out in 1974. Here we have a great white shark terrorizing a small beach town, Amity, prompting the local sheriff, a marine biologist, and a professional shark hunter to track down and kill this massive creature. The suspense builds as the shark picks off victims one by one throughout the movie. Steven Spielberg's masterful direction, coupled with John Williams' iconic score, da -da, da -da, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It turns this into a relentless thriller that keeps audiences on edge and caused the number of people going to beaches the next year to go down. <laughs> number eight, the Amityville Horror, the 1975 film adaptation of the book Amityville Horror by Jay Anson, which came out in 1977. A family moves into a new home, only to be tormented by terrifying paranormal phenomena, which leads them to believe that the house is possessed by a malevolent force. The film is based on the supposedly true story of the Lutz family, which just makes it that much more terrifying. Its chilling exploration of a haunted house based on true events creates an atmosphere of dread that lingers long after the credits roll. You may not want to watch this alone. This is one of those on a dark, scary night in a big house with nobody else with you. Bad call. Number seven, The Invisible Man. I'm talking about the 2020 adaptation, a freaking awesome movie. This is based on The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells that came out all the way back in 1897, but it's definitely a retelling, a total adaptation based on source material. In this film, after escaping an abusive relationship, a woman believes her ex-boyfriend has found a way to become invisible and is stalking her. Of course, no one believes her. and She must prove her sanity while fighting for her life. This modern take on domestic abuse, combined with Elizabeth Moss's powerful performance and the film's tight, tension-filled pacing, makes it a psychological thriller that resonates deeply. This is one of the best recent thrillers that I have seen. Definitely check this movie out. My last one for today... Number six is Pet Cemetery, the 1989 film adaptation of the book Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, which came out in 1983. 
Here we have a family that moves to a rural house near a pet cemetery and a mysterious burial ground with the power to resurrect the dead. Yeah, what could go wrong? After tragedy strikes, the family's attempt to undo their grief leads to horrifying consequences. This movie's exploration of grief and the dark, primal fear of death, combined with a chilling atmosphere, makes this a disturbing and emotional horror film. This is another one not for the weak. Uh, this will mess you up. You've been warned. But that's where I'll stop today. I've got five more to come in our next episode. Be sure to come back for that. But what did you think of these movies? Have you watched them? Have you read the books they're based on? I'd love to see your thoughts in the comment box. Put what you're thinking there, and I will respond. I love to hear your own stories. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.